What's up everybody, Tactical Production 7 here, back with the Minecraft mod tutorial. Today's monster will be on the Crafting Guide mod, and what this mod does is it adds a crafting guide to Minecraft. So you'll no longer have to go on the internet or the Minecraft wiki and look up how to craft a certain item. You can simply open up this book, and it'll show you how to craft everything you need to know how to craft. Now if you have a mod installed, it will also show you how to craft these certain items that are added by that mod. So here we have, if we go ahead and have the crafting book, or the crafting guide, and go ahead and simply right click when you're holding that, it'll open up the crafting guide. And you can see we have all of the items here, 99 rows of all the items and how to craft them all and how to smelt everything, as well as how to make the potions and all of that sort of good stuff. Now if we come over here, we have the recipe list, is which is what I'm on right now, and show and hide recipes by crafting type. So through the crafting table, um, we can have it show everything when it comes to uh, the crafting table, the furnace, and a, um, I believe it's an alchemy table. I'm not sure. I can't remember what that's called. And then you can hide the recipes. Um, I wish they did make the uh, GUI a little bit better for this because it doesn't really tell you exactly what it will be changing. It just shows a picture with some things translucent and one solid. And then you can change it for uh, smelting and all that sort of stuff. Now you can go ahead and set an item. So if you want to know how to craft, um, actually I'll show you how to craft the gra crafting guide itself. So if I go ahead and select the crafting guide, right here it'll tell you how to craft it. Just do four pieces of paper and then four books with a crafting table in the middle and that'll give you your crafting guide. Now you can also go ahead and just hit clear and it'll take that out of there. And you can also search. So if I do diamond like that, it'll show you all of the diamond um, tools anything that diamond is in and it'll show you how to craft it and it'll show you what you can do with like the org to change it into a diamond so that is the crafting guide very useful mod if you don't know how to craft everything which I know pretty much not very many people do know how to craft everything off the off of memory so yeah very useful mod so I now declare my minecraft jar after I do that I'll be back and I'll show you how to install this okay Okay, so what you need to install this mod is some sort of archiving program, such as WinRAR, 7-Zip, or WinZip. And all these archiving programs will work relatively the same way, so you can use whatever you prefer. I'll be using WinRAR in this tutorial. Then you're going to need to download Modler and the Crafting Guide itself. So to get Modler and the Crafting Guide, I'll go ahead and give you the link to these two pages in the description. So first off for the Crafting Guide, if you go ahead and come to this page, you can see we have a couple screenshots and all of the information on how to use the mod and pretty much just everything that you'll need to know about it. Um, just gets in fine detail about everything but you want to go ahead and come down to the installation section and we want to download the current version which is 1.4.4 and we want to download it for minecraft 1.2.4 and 1.2.5 so when you download this the same file will work for either versions so you go ahead and click on the ad fly and of course this will take us over to an ad fly and it'll say please wait five seconds up in the top right hand corner after that five seconds is up a yellow button saying skip ad will appear Go ahead and click on skip ad and it will automatically download the mod. So that is how to download the crafting guide. Now to download mod letter, if we go ahead and come over to Resigami's mods and scroll down until we see mod letter 1.2.5, you can either download from AdFly or direct. Whatever you prefer to do, keep in mind downloading from AdFly will help support the mod creator. So that is how to download everything you're going to need to install this mod. So when you're ready to install it, go ahead and come over to start. Then type in percent app data percent, just like this down here in the bottom left hand corner. Then go ahead and open up your roaming. Now open your dot Minecraft. Open your bin. Left click your Minecraft jar, then right click it and do open with. And select whatever archiving program you're using. I'm using WinRAR, so I'm going to go ahead and open it with WinRAR. Now you don't need your bin open anymore, so you can go ahead and just close that. So once you have your Minecraft jar open, go ahead and open up Mod Loader. Highlight all of these class files and drag them into Minecraft jar and hit OK. Go ahead and close Mod Loader. Now open up the crafting guide. And you want to highlight these three, four, these files as well and drag them into your Minecraft jar and hit OK. Now you can go ahead and close the crafting guide. Now in your Minecraft jar, you should see a folder called MetaInf. If you do not have this folder, that is OK. You can go ahead and just skip this step. But if you do have it, what you want to do is delete it. So go ahead and left click it, then right click it. Select delete files and then hit yes. And that was delete MetaInf. You want to make sure you're always deleting MetaInf when you're installing a mod to Minecraft. If you don't, it'll make Minecraft crash. So after you delete MetaInf, you can go ahead and close your Minecraft jar. And that's it. You're done installing the mod. So it's a very simple installation. I hope this video helped you guys out. Thank you for watching. And I will see you guys next time.